What is good, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna get right to this video. I ain't got nothing else to tell you. The city is here. The NBA 2K25 city reveal finally happened. If you can tell, I'm excited. I'm excited for a reason. <laughs> I'm excited for a reason. Someone cooked here. Now, I understand what the comments are gonna say. It also comes down to gameplay. It also comes down to when the game actually launches and we get our hands on the actual city, what it feels like to run through it, what it feels like to be in a park, how many games we can get, how easily we can get them, how all these new modes and things they've added to the city actually feel. I'm here, I hear you. But first, I just wanna be excited for all the new things that are in the game. Starting with number one, the legend grind is back. Now, this legend grind looks really calm. It's the legend grind we're actually familiar with. The top rep is called legend again, and it's five tiers for every single one. Now, the first thing I have to point out to you guys about this legend grind, we finally have a leaderboard that's back. As you can see on the second side, on the second right-hand side, that is a leaderboard that shows you the top 10 rep players for both affiliations. It is not per affiliation like we've had in the past. It is for both affiliations. However, there is a little right stick movement, so maybe there's, maybe there's three leaderboards? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Now, next, when it comes to this legend grind, the new legend grind on NBA 2K25, we have rookie, starter, veteran, and legend. So it's like a com it's a combination of the original legend grind we saw before and last year's legend grind, right? Two different names, two different, you know, rookie and legend was in the, the OG legend grind, but veteran and starter are part of the new one. Top 10 is also still in the game. I was vouching for top 10 and not be in the game, but for there to be a legend back and you get legend prizes and rewards separate from the top 10, I think it's a W. They finally did both basically in my opinion. Now, as you can see, there's something called team motes that you unlock through different rep rewards as well. It's basically an emote that your entire team can do. So a lot of people were asking me what that was and a bit confused about that. It's an emote that your entire team can do once you trigger it. Now, I need to point this out. My last video, we talked about cat breakers. Cat breakers are unlocked through rep. And like I said in my last video, you're not touching all 15 cat breakers. You're not doing it. Because as you do the math, rookie, starter, veteran, and legend, either way you look at it, divisible by three you get your five as starter veteran and legend so you're only touching 15 cap breakers if you hit legend on nba 2k25 how many of you guys are going to do that let me know in the comments but i doubt it's going to be too many of us i might grind for legend again so keep your eyes out for that i did hit legend on 2k21 which this rep grind is very similar we had on 2k21 next gen the one through five levels on each one of the reps and that shit was long as fuck. <laughs> that, that legend grind was easy. One of the hardest legend grinds to hit legend on. So with that being said, we'll see how this goes. Our next most important point to make, the new stage, the new Annie up. They finally updated not only the rec and the pro-am and the stage, but they all look pretty brand new. Now, as someone who doesn't play stage firsthand, all I can do is be hyped that the community got something that they've been asking for, like been asking for. I'm here for it. If you play stage, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new stage. I already foresee people being like, it's just a new color. Um, but how much can you re really change about the stage? At the end of the day, it's basketball courts. It's gonna look the same, even if it's just a new color. So <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you guys there. I do wanna add the asterisk though, that if you're familiar with any of my old videos, I would've told you guys in past videos that it takes MA2K a significant amount of time to actually apply changes we ask for. Not that they don't hear us, not that they're not trying to, but they're already two, two 2Ks ahead when we're asking for something to be brand new in the game. So consider anything that was said in 2K23 and 2K22, a lot of things are what we're seeing now, which a new stage 
that's part of it, right? Now, the next biggest change to the city is the new Proving Grounds feature. So they finally added rank to NBA 2K and it's a real and official ranked mode with an entire ranked system. It is 1v1 and 2v2 and 3v3 and 5v5. So there is a mode for everyone if you wanna play ranked. You can also go in as squads and as, you know, you know, separate people for all of these modes. And there's a top five, top 100 leaderboard for every single play style. So there's a 1v1 leaderboard, a 2v2 leaderboard, a 3v3 leaderboard, and a 5v5 leaderboard. So you don't have to play all modes and be at the top of all modes in order to be in the top 100. You can simply stick to your mode that you prefer and still be in the top 100 if you make it that far. Now, top five in the ranked mode get special prizes, special logos that they've explained are basically your rank on top of your head. So there's gonna be a logo that says one, two, three, four, five, to explain it pretty briefly. Then the top 100 players get a special little plaque on their name place where it'll say 100, top 100, wherever they're at in that top 100. Everybody else, we get, uh, you know, saying we. <laughs> Everybody else, we get what are the now new ranked system, which is a huge W. I heard they were adding ranked mode to the game pretty early, and I was concerned because there was no mention outside of the top 100 of a genuine rank system. So I'm glad to see that there actually is a genuine rank system being added to NBA 2K, where if you participate in ranked, you can still get a little bit of a notoriety. That is the draw for most people who aren't gonna be in a top 100 ranked on any game. So this was a W addition to the new ranked mode that they added this so that even if you're not top 100 which is a very small amount of people you can still show off that i'm gold i'm platinum i'm diamond now the w to this that goes back to the rep system and the rep rewards is that once you hit gold and above you start to earn extra xp for rep as well as extra vc and the diamond ranked players get a 50 percent boost to rep which is insane, which one tells me that the rep system is very fucking hard again. It is a very hard rep system again. And two tells me that you gonna, you're gonna wanna play comp and be comp to be a legend and to be first legend in particular, which is a huge W. It eliminates a lot of issues as long as there's enough people playing ranked. That is the only problem I could foresee is that all this talk of people wanting a rank system on NBA 2K and they don't actually go play it. And now we got a bunch of niggas playing bums in the rank system and they're getting a diamond really easily. And now we got niggas boosting to legend in the rank system. That is the only possible L that could happen. I hope, I'm hoping that's not what really happens. We, we will see. <laughs> we will see. Last but not least, let's take a look at what they have shown us about the city. So this is the first look. As you can see in the back, that top 10 rep leaderboard is right there in the back. This little basketball mural thing that you're seeing in the middle is the mural that they're talking about where they're talking about the recognizing all the past legends and past 2Ks. And then this street is basically the one long street that separates the different parks. That is supposed to be really easy, short, nothing too crazy. And as you can see on the street, you can see the theater on the right with the LeBron mural, the proving grounds right here, more closer to the middle, straight straight across from the wreck. The prime is not in the screenshot, as well as in the course report, they did not show us the new and updated program, but program is still in the game. Proving grounds does not replace program. Everything else is still in the game. So the theater, the rec, pro-am, Annie up are all still in the game. And now we also have proving grounds. Now we go to look at the actual parks themselves. Only thing that could possibly make or break NBA 2K. So we'll see the community's reaction to this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Elite and Rise are back on the game. Now, a lot of people thought that we would get the old parks back because of the new Rivet and Triple Threat Park online co-op on the My Team side. However, I've known for a while now, Elite and Rise were coming back um, and those would be the official parks still in the actual city of NBA 2K. With Elite being a pirate themed affiliation with a boat in it, um, I think they keep trying to draw from the fact that people really enjoyed the boat. I think on it was 2K22 or 2K21 current. No, it was 2K22 current. 2K22 current gen. 
people really like that boat scenario. So I think they keep trying to recreate that. I would advocate for them to get rid of that. Let's let's move on from that. They are smaller though. Remember they told us in the past courts reports that the parks would be smaller. They did it. They're a lot smaller. All the courts are next to each other. It's a lot easier to get around. And Rise has now become the futuristic park using the robots. Now, I don't know who is obsessed with mechatrons and robots at NBA 2K, but clearly someone is. Um, and it's not a bad fun toy for some people. You know what I mean? Some people really love those things. Um, and I think that the suit was, it was a, a, a viral moment. I would not say it necessarily like the community's favorite, uh, but it was a moment. I think, again, this is something that we need to let go of, in my opinion. I'm the futuristic parts, let them go. The theme, the beach themed pirate parks, let them go. It is what it is. At the end of the day, you're just there to get to get games in because what I will say is that even though these are the actual parks, all of the old NBA 2K15 parks will be coming back. And I have a lot to say about this, right? Because with all the NBA 2K15 parts coming back on NBA 2K25, I think it's safe to assume that on NBA 2K26, we'll be seeing NBA 2K16. Play me, they can't blind me from the obvious facts. I see it now. 2K15 will have 2K25, 2K16 will have 2K26, and so on and so forth. And this is how they'll approach in the future of bringing back remastered parks on the game. The iconic NBA 2K15 My Parks will be coming back. All four of My Parks will be coming back, including Sunset Beach, the Industrial River City, the setting of Old Town, and of course the upgraded Old Town that was on 2K15 in the aircraft carrier. So they really went in and they cooked with this, right? But they will all be returning as events in the event center. And that I think is my one grievance with all of this is that you gave my team the triple threat park, Rivet City. They're going to have that all year. That's not going anywhere. And it's arguably the mode with the least people who are appreciative of there being an old park being brought back, let alone there being a park on my team to begin with, right? The idea is comp with the cars and you can see them in the park and all those things, but how long is that gonna last before the my team people who are used to matchmaking and used to just hopping right into a game are gonna get tired of that? The point of bringing back an old park is for the park players. <laughs> is for the park players and for you to give us old parks back as events that in detail will be happening at the end of every season for the next four seasons so at the end of season one we'll be getting the old town flyers original my park uh for an event at the end in the event center but i feel like and it's also gonna be mind you it's gonna be two times xp and double rep so you're gonna want to play it especially if you're grinding rep However, it's going to be gone. You know what I mean? By the end of the season, it's going to be gone. And how long is the end of the season? Like, are we talking the last two weeks of the season, the last week of the season, or the last weekend of the season? Do you see? In 2K26, when y'all decide to bring it back 2K16, because I see it now, y'all better make them parks the actual park based off of all the feedback you've been seeing from the community about whether or not the parks are coming back. There's no reason for you guys to keep trying to do elite and rise. I made a tweet earlier this year talking about it's obvious 2K is making unrealistic parks because the younger generation is obviously attracted to unrealistic things. That is what 2K is trying to accomplish by con continuing to recreate these unrealistic parks. Minecraft, Roblox, those games were built as themes that happen to be unrealistic, that kids love. I don't believe that the reason kids love them is because they're unrealistic. I believe that because kids love them and the unrealistic thing worked, a lot of companies are misconstruing that these kids are attracted to the unrealistic theme, not the actual game and the gameplay and the environment and the experience itself. So when 2K continues to push 
these unrealistic parks, my question is, is it actually working? Are kids loading up on a basketball game that claims to be the number one simulation that are clearly the type of children who care about their favorite players, who care about what their favorite players like, who care about what type of things their favorite players do, especially in their free time, who are used to seeing these guys in the Venice Beach runs, the Drew League, the UCLA runs, uh, the Rutgers Park. Uh, there's now a new Miami Pro League. They grow up in these AAU gyms. And if they play outside, it's a nice looking fucking park. It's not chain nets usually. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's what they want to see. And I think continuing to try to make these unrealistic parks is like losing the plot. They want unrealistic looking cosmetics they want things that are fun in the sense of like added to the game and are actually fun like i want to play as spongebob and a spongebob mascot on an actual realistic looking park not play on an unrealistic water themed park that isn't real spongebob as real people so that's where I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna try to make this video too long. <laughs> so if you've made it this far into this video, we'll, we're gonna talk about a lot more of the details when it comes to all the new stuff in the city. Now, my court is also actually back, which is something that we've known for a while now. Um, but my court is comp. Everything is customizable. You can customize the murals at my court. So it's a huge W. You can play with friends. You can play against bots. There's a lot of different things and features you can try out in the my court. So I well, I do want to add this part, this little note about street ball. So street ball is now on the beach and there's one other court as well. But you can now have cooperative street ball. So no longer are you forced on street ball to play with just bots and go play against bots and win against these bosses to, you know, get your quest going and to win certain things you can now actually do it cooperative with two other people and play against street ball bots in the park which i think is a huge w because there's a lot of people who are going to be wanting to grind and just play and play against bots to earn quests and quest prizes and it's a lot easier for people that aren't necessarily as good to team up with other people to beat these bots because last year the bots were kind of broken <laughs> now you know i like cosmetics so i have to add that there's a new store in the game called limited edition where you'll be able to see limited edition obviously drops in the game of specific brands and clothing brands i'm curious as to why they felt the need to separate that from swags I actually don't really know why they would do that. Now the Gatorade gym, this was my one grievance also with all of this. The Gatorade gym is now an open area workout platform on the beach. Nearby, there are two Gatorade courts where Gatorade boosts that temporarily increase your physical attributes are activated for the duration of games played there. Further along the beach, there are also two courts that give a 25% rep bonus. Now sounds good until you hear that further down the beach, there are two courts in the tuck, in the back, that give a rep bonus. That sounds like booster heaven. <laughs> and we already know Legend Grind is gonna be hard as fuck because I've talked about it already in this course I report. The Legend Grind is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a long Legend Grind, one through five. It's not gonna be easy. The fact they're even giving something as high as a 50% rep boost to people in ranked, is gonna be very long and hard rep grind. So to add this extra park in the cut in the no, in the normal servers for people to play on, niggas are gonna hop on that shit and boost all day for the extra 25% rep boost. That could cook the entire legend race, if we're being honest. It depends on how much 25% is compared to, for example, 50 or compared to having no rep boost. So that's my only grievance. I like that the Gatorade gym has been moved and that it literally looks like Venice Beach now. It's gonna be an outdoor workout facility like venice beach rebirth got re improved which i think a lot of people know about that as well so rebirth is now rebirthing to the potential build you've reached which means that you can have a 99 build and use rebirth to make a 99 build that's already at 99 with silver badges so that's a huge w they're removing the need to have to grind so many builds which is only going to further make people want to make more builds especially now that they've added 15 save slots so that's another thing to add is there's 15 save slots. Now you have rebirth to silver and 99. The only thing stopping you from making a billion builds is VC, which yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the micro request and lot rebirth is available at 90 again. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same Ronnie quest that we've had for the last two years. Um, 
Now, this other thing I wanted to add from the course report, last but not least, there's a new thing called the track. So all those weekly races we had this year where, you know, people are winning VC and all that kind of stuff, which, you know, with the asterisk, because there was one person winning a lot of the VC, <laughs> um, has now been moved because since the city is smaller, it's more straightforward, like people asked for, they moved the racing thing into an indoor track, a go-kart track that is also sponsored by Lego. If you're not familiar, NBA 2K had a Lego 2K game that was actually really fun and made a lot of noise. A lot of people really enjoyed that game. So they've added a new feature in NBA 2K to highlight this game by having a version of it in NBA 2K, which I think is a huge W. I think that's actually a really great idea. I will be checking it out. I advise you to also check it out. I know we all want everything to be all about basketball, but this is a fire feature and you got to show love for the things like this. Like, be open-minded, be more fun, <laughs> be very mindful, very demure, going to try the track on NBA 2K25, very demure. Yeah, so that's all there really is left in the city. Um, so just small, short recap, the legend rep grind is back. It is the full one through five rookie starter, veteran, legend, and top 10. Top 10s will receive a logo um, and legends will receive their own prizes for hitting legend. So that's a huge W. Cap breakers are attached to rep. So keep in mind that getting all 15 cap breakers is a lot harder than people think. And it's a lot harder than the bills y'all saw yesterday accounted for it. Then you have the new rank system on NBA 2K using proving grounds that not only has top five with logos and top five across all rank modes in the game, but top 100 nameplates. And then on top of that, a ranking system for everyone who participates. Huge W. Then Pro-Am, the rec, Annie up and everything else you can think of are not only all in the game, but they all got reworked, revisualized. Everything's new, brand new, nice looking. I also want to add that everything in the city, according to these photos, looks very colorful. So they might have listened to us on that part. The new city parks, Elite and Rise are coming back. Elite being the pirates, Rise being the robots. But however, the old parks will be coming back. The old 2K15 parks will be coming back as events. Let me know what you guys think about that events in the event center. That's it. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this long, I really appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe for all my content coming into NBA 2K25. We are ready, and I'll see you guys in the next one.